What's up guys, Dr. Andrew Pineset, The Study Doc, and today you're gonna learn about the most common thing I see with students that throws them off of their schedule and puts them perpetually behind in their classes. You don't wanna miss this, check it out, y'all. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right guys, Dr. Andrew Pineset, The Study Doc, and like I said today, there are so many, and it cracks me up, as a person who really is busy, right? As a physician, as an educator, as a parent, as a husband, I'm busy. And it cracks me up to no end when students come to me, I'm like, yeah, I've got four classes, I'm so busy. And I don't mean to trivialize, right, what seems like busyness to you guys, because you are busy, it is stressful, 100%. And when you get busy like that, it's easy to say you don't have time. And what I want to share with you guys right now is that you do have time, but you're causing problems for yourself. And this comes from one of my students who's in my Total Student Transformation coaching program. And I teach my students how to make schedules. And we were going to review schedules of students who were in my program. And so he was like, yeah, you know, but I'm just really struggling because I make my schedule, but I just feel like every day, it's, it's just, it's, I'm so busy and it becomes so overwhelming. I'm just like burnt out. And I'm like, wait a minute, burnt out? That can't happen if you're scheduling properly. What's going on? So we pull up his schedule and his schedule is wall to wall. He's up at five and he goes till midnight. And when we look at his schedule, when we break down his schedule, it was a beautiful moment because I asked my students, right? I was like, hey, what's wrong with the schedule? And then all the people chimed in. It was so amazing because they could see what was wrong with it. But oftentimes we're so close to the, to the problem, we can't see the problem. And for many of you guys, that's where you're at, where you feel perpetually busy, you feel perpetually overwhelmed, you're always falling behind, you're always running late, you're always go, 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 but you're not really going anywhere productive, right? You're, you're, you're falling short of your goals. And for him, right, as you guys get into this cycle, the number one reason that this happens and you guys get into these cycles is choices. And that sounds crazy, maybe, but it's your choices. The problem is choice, like the matrix. The problem is choice. When we look at his schedule, he was making bad choices that were leading to him being overwhelmed and underperforming. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And you guys know, right? Because in retrospect, after the term is over, how many of you guys say to yourself, oh, this was just too much going on this, this term? And you don't even recognize that that was your decision that was your choice whether you made it knowingly or unknowingly not even having thought about it that was your choice and for this student he was in a situation where he changed schools he went from a community college to a four-year university and the four-year university is an hour and a half from his house he couldn't get housing until next semester so this semester he's commuting an hour and a half each way to school and when i looked at his schedule well there's a lot of things wrong with it but the, like the the thing that was most obvious to me was that he was starting his day with a two hour workout. And I'm all for working out. You should be fit, life balance is important, health is important. But if you understand that you're making a transition, that's a big transition, community college to four year, that's a big transition. Now you add to that transition that you're now commuting three hours a day for school. So you're stepping up the competition and you're sucking three hours out of your day and that's three awful hours. For anybody that's ever had to commute, I commuted, I actually, this is why I could, this is why I could speak to him because I did this. I commuted for one quarter from Mission Viejo all the way to UCLA. If you don't know what that is, that's about a 60 mile drive, but it's in LA traffic. So it's easily two hours each way, easily, if not more. It's an awful drive. But I did it because I was foolish and young, right, as we sometimes are. I didn't want to live in LA, I didn't want the smog, I didn't want the traffic, but I put myself right in the thick of it by having to drive it. But so anyway, so what I said to him, I was like, listen, if you are in a temporary situation where you have to commute an hour and a half each way, or even if it's a permanent situation, for some of you guys, you're chronic commuters. The first thing is, is you are choosing to commute. If you are short on time, wouldn't it be great to have three extra hours a day? Is it worth it to pay the extra... 500 or a thousand dollars to move closer to campus and to gain three hours a day w wouldn't that be a fair trade-off i would do that so my first question becomes you guys is do you actually have to commute or are you choosing to put yourself under undue burdens by commuting an hour and a half each way right the second thing 
is if you are in a situation where you do have to commute three hours a day. That's a big time waste. So therefore you have to, right, if you want to be efficient, all waste in a system is included in inefficiency. So if you have three hours of wasted time, you have to be super efficient everywhere else. And so what can't you be doing? You can't have two hours of working out every day. Two hours coupled with a 15 minute commute each way to your gym in the opposite direction of your school. Because that's now two and a half hours out of your day that you've lost to working out. Instead, you gotta make a sacrifice. You gotta say, okay, I can work out 30 minutes. I can work out 45 minutes. Make sure you do a high intensity 15 minute class. Whatever you gotta do, we've gotta shrink that workout time. Maybe instead of going, and he was going to a private gym out of the way, how about you go to the gym on campus? How about you go to Big Five or Sports Mart, I don't know what you have in your area, Walmart, and you get a couple dumbbells, right? And you do work at home. Get a, what is it, perfect pull up, whatever the thing is, he goes in your doorway. I got one of those, right? Get in your doorway. Why don't you get on the ground and do some push-ups? Why don't you go run outside? All things that you can do that will expedite your day and give you back two hours of time, right? Now, if you did both of those things, if you move closer to campus and you cut your workout down to 30 minutes or an hour, you just gained four to five hours back in your day. What could you do with an extra four to five hours a day? And you say, oh, I can do a whole lot. But the problem is, is many of you guys, this is the obvious example, but many of you guys have small choices that you're making in your day, in your life, that are causing you to be under undue burden and to be horribly inefficient for absolutely no reason. So if you want to be a student who's not so overwhelmed, who's not so inundated with obligations, who is able to create a schedule and stick to that schedule and feel good about it and not feel so time rushed, you've got to make the decisions in your life to set yourself up for efficiency. You've got to decide how many classes is appropriate for me to take at a time. If I couldn't do three classes well, just because my counselor told me I should take four classes this term, I shouldn't take four. I couldn't do three right. If I couldn't do three right by themselves, why am I doing three right plus research, plus I'm president of the club, plus I'm, my mom is sick? You're not going to do all those things. So what you have to do is do a better job of looking at what's in front of you and deciding what is really a priority, what really deserves your attention, and what are you going to spend time doing? And is that the most optimal way to spend your time? Or is there a better way for you to spend your time? And if you can make the proper choices about your time and, and what you're giving attention to and what you're giving energy to and what you're giving away your most valuable asset, your time, to, you'll start to see, oh my gosh, by being more selective with what I do and, and how I act and what I go about things, and I'm just accepting the status quo, is this the only way I can do it? I've gotten back my time, my energy, my attention, my focus, and you'll get the outcomes. So you're like, wait a minute, I feel less rushed? I feel like I'm working less, but I'm getting better grades? People like me more? I'm succeeding in my opportunities? Hmm, it's kind of nice. So sometimes, guys, take a step back and reflect and look at your choices and say, can I make better choices for a better future? And if you really, really, really want to step up your decision-making game and to really understand all the barriers and obstacles that are standing in front of you and being an efficient and effective and a productive student, you need to check out my course, How to Double Your Study Efficiency, guys. At a minimum, this course will double your study efficiency because it will make you aware of all these little tiny barriers that's standing your way and gives you strategies, not just to say, oh, I see that, but how do we overcome it? What's the optimal way to make this decision to manage my time, to overcome procrastination, to be laser focused, to have more energy, to be a productive student? This is the course, guys. How to W Study Efficiency. There's a, a link down below. You can click it and check it out, guys. It will change your life, guys. True story. Not just me saying that. Look at what my students say. All right, so everyone have a great day, a productive day, a day of wise decisions and wise choices to set yourself up for success. All right, I'm Dr. Andrew Pineset, the study doc, guys. The website is studenttransformation.com. I'll see you next time. No excuses, just dominate. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you, what are you going to do today to make your life better?